Good evening. Tonight's video is going to be about photography because I was looking around in my basement and I found this. It's a camera. But it's not a camera like this one that I'm talking to because this camera you have to open up the back and then you have to go and get some of this stuff. It's called film and it goes inside there and it uses like chemicals or some shit to, to turn to make pictures and then you have to take the film and get it developed unless you know how to do that yourself which I don't. So anyway I found the camera and thought, well, it'll be pretty fun to take some pictures of stuff with a film camera. That's actually pretty bright. Close the aperture a little bit. That would be good. If I took that picture, but I'm not going to take that picture because that wouldn't, that wouldn't be a very good picture. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. And I've taken a couple of pictures already. Although, earlier uh, this afternoon, I went outside and took some pictures. And I don't know if they're going to turn out because... The, uh, the light meter, while I'm working, it has a built-in light meter that you can see in here, and it's pretty cool. Uh, well, you can't see it, but I can see it. It's just a little thing that goes, a little needle that goes up and down when I look at it. And <clears throat> it takes into account the ISO speed of the film, which is 400, and then you change the, the shutter speed, and then you change the aperture and it tells you when it's right which is nice so so yeah it, the um, there's a battery that, that runs the, uh, the the light meter and it didn't have the battery in there or there was a, the battery was dead so the light meter didn't work so I think I probably had the camera set wrong then I have this lens, which is a nice lens. I like it. Um, I'm probably going to retake some of the pictures that I tried to take this afternoon and just do them again. I also have this lens, which is kind of, I don't know, a little bit of a zooming lens. It doesn't, it doesn't like zoom. It's just longer, and it focuses. Oh, that again. Thanks. <sighs> Living in a house with other people. It's the worst. Okay, and then there's this lens, which is quite cool, because you can focus on things that are really, really close, up to less than eight inches. So, that's cool. The only problem with this lens is, I don't know if you can see, if you can see that the, the, the aperture thing, oh, I have it set the wrong way. I set it that way. You see how it's closed and then, so when the lens is on the camera, right, maybe you can see it better this way. When the lens is on the camera, the aperture is all the way open because you're looking through the lens when you look through the viewfinder. And then when you go to take the picture, the camera releases this little lever which closes the aperture to whatever setting you had it set at. The problem with this lens is that it, when, I, when you release the little lever thing, it's kind of sluggish in, in uh, closing. That was fairly fast, actually. If you if you 
kind of do that a bit, then it gets fast again. But then if you don't do anything to it for a while, it'll be slow again. Like just right then, it was slow again. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But yeah, it's kind of slow. So I don't know if that's going to work for, um, for taking pictures. Unless I'm taking pictures with the aperture wide open. Which I might want to do anyway, but we'll see. And then, yeah. This one's probably good for taking pictures of stuff that's far away. And this one, the little thing is nice and quick and responsive, so that's good. And, yeah, I like lens. I like these lenses. I think they're very cool. I like looking through them at the things that are upside down. There. Yeah. So, I think that's pretty exciting. Doing photography. Being a photographer. I also got this film. This film is slide film. My dad always used to take slides and go on vacation or whatever, so he always got slide film. And film has a date that they put on the box that says that it should be processed before such and such a date. This one was in the box and the date on the box was August 1995. And uh, my friend James says that uh, out-of-date film usually gives some interesting results. So I'm going to shoot that roll and see what I, see what I get. <laughs> It'll be uh, interesting. So yeah, that's my thing about photography. I don't know much about photography, but I've got three rolls of this film, so I'm going to learn something. Okay, bye.